Welcome to how to use the Instant Labs Publisher with HTML templates. Today I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to create an Instant Atlas dynamic report. On the screen you can see I've got the Instant Atlas Publisher open. You can see that it is a wizard application so you can see the next and back buttons here. I'm going to click next so that I can choose my Instant Atlas template that I'm going to create my atlas with. I can choose from the drop down box and you can see that there are templates available in Flash and in HTML edition. Depending on what you choose here, the next steps will be slightly different. For this video, I'm going to choose the single match HTML edition. If you would like to create a report using the Flash edition template, I suggest you view the video How to use Instant Atlas Publisher with Flash templates. You can see here that there is a description of the selected template and a screenshot of an example of what the atlas will look like when I'm finished. I'm going to click Next and now I'm going to choose my base geography. The base geography is the geography that has the data associated to it. And so for our example today, I'm going to choose Louisiana parishes. I need to make sure I choose a unique code field and I'm going to choose a name field here. If I click on properties, I can change various settings for this base layer. I shall change the name of the base layer to what I want it to be displayed in the final report. So I will change this to Louisiana parishes. And I also change the border color. I'm going to click next and for this example I'm going to use dummy data. So I'm going to select create a dummy data file. Now if you want to learn how to put in your own real data you can look at the video how to use the Instant Atlas Excel data manager. I'm now going to choose my contextual geography. I'm going to click add and I'm going to choose Louisiana regions. Once again I've got to choose my unique code field and my name field. If I click on properties I can change the name of the contextual layer to what I want it to be displayed in the final report. I should change this to Louisiana regions. And I can also change various other settings, so I'll change the border color. In the next step, I'm going to choose my background layer. I can choose from four different types. Either I can use a raster image collection, which is a set of georeferenced JPEG or PNG images I may have saved somewhere on my computer, a web map service, an ArcGIS server connection. For example, Esri provides some really nice map services within their ArcGIS online service which are completely free for public use, or I can choose Google Maps as my background layer. With our HTML templates, you do not need an API key for a dynamic report saved locally or on a web server. So for this example, I would choose an IGIS online layer. I can get the link to the World Street Map service from the Instant Atlas Desktop User Guide in section B.3.5.3, adding images from an ArcGIS server map service. Here you can also find a link to the ArcGIS Online website where you can find further map services. For this example, I'm happy with the World Street Map service, so I simply copy this link and paste it into the Instant Atlas Publisher. I then click Refresh. I can see that this service only provides one map layer and one coordinate system. If this is not the coordinate system that your base layer and contextual map files are in, don't worry, the publisher can reproject most of the common coordinate systems to match your background layer. I'm going to click Next, and now I can choose some settings for the dynamic report. You can change the configuration of the report, which is the different layouts. I'm going to stick with General. I'm also going to leave the color profile as its default, but I shall change the report title. I shall put in the word Demo. I'm now going to click Next, and I now need to choose my output folder. For this example, I have created a new folder and I can browse to it. Then I can click Publish. and I can unpack the zip file that has just been created and saved it into the same folder. I'm now going to review the report. You can see that this is the Instant Atlas Dynamic Report created with the single map template. You can see up the top here, this is the title I've amended. You can see my changed names for the base layer and contextual layer and also the changed border colors for both of these layers. You can also see our chosen background mapping is working. So you can see how easy this was to create. If you want more information on how to design this dynamic report and make it look how you would want it to, then please see our How to Use the Instant Atlas Designer for HTML Reports video. If you want to find out more information on how to put in your own real data to the Atlas, then please see our How to Use Instant Atlas Excel Data Manager video.